Good morning. It's tarp setup time using the three by three. And we're going to call this the Jurgen configuration. Now that's purely because it was my friend Jurgen in Germany who asked me to film this. Really, it's a modified plow point. Let's get on. Right, I've laid out the tarp in a diamond between them two trees. And ah, I might be a bit ambitious. They're a long way apart. I'm not sure that my ridge line will be long enough, but we'll have a go anyway. All right, I'm gonna go about, about eye level. Oh, I could have picked two smaller trees too, couldn't I? I made myself life a little bit easier. But. There we go. All right, that's that bit. Oh, right. So through the corner loop. Throw that in a bit because I don't, I don't like walking on the tarp, so I can really, really help it. And through the centre, centre loop. That's that bit. Good old bootlace out. And stick a, a prussic knot on here. It's a bit awkward to do when the line's not taut, but still works. Because this one, I'm going to fix for that corner loop. So when I start setting up and tying to the other tree, and the line starts getting tight, it'll stop the tarp disappearing downhill. This is probably not going to be in the right place, but of course the best thing about the Prusik is the fact you can slide him up and down. So that will do just to hold him in place for the time being. another prosic on back side of this centre loop so I can tension that one as well That'll do. Got a fair bit of slack there. Pull it the right way, you idiot. <laughs> I won't know quite where it's going to end up, 
until I tie it to the other tree. Right, moment of truth. Yeah, I think I've just about got enough enough line there. Now, I didn't bother filming the pegging out bit because it's just sticking in pegs. It's a bit boring. But the corners of the diamonds, just pulled them out so it was taut along that line, stuck a peg in. The back corner, furthest point of the diamond, stretched that out, single peg. Then halfway down, the back side here, either side. One more peg. Pop. Help to pull this piece out a little bit. As you can see, the ridge line is holding that midsection nice and high. With a, a normal plough point, you've basically got a straight line from the high point there to the back point. So it would be what, about so high? I've gained at least a foot, 30 centimetres inside. The frussets, tensioning out the, the top loop there. In the end, I didn't have to move them. Where I tied them on, just happened to be in the right place. Pure fluke. But if it was a bit saggy on the top there, of course you could just grab the frusset knot, slide it back until you got the tension on the ridge there. As it happens, it all worked out fine. I'll move you around the front so you can have a look inside. There we go. The thing I like about doing this is it's, it's very long. Um, you could easily sleep two people either side. You know, two people either side. Two people, one either side. That makes more sense. Um, and room for your gear as well, no problem at all. And with the point here, the overhang bit, it's high, or high-ish, here, as you can see. It's not touching the top. You could sit here, do a bit of cooking or whatever, if it's wet, and you're still in the shelter, without encroaching on your sleeping area. Uh, I don't know whether I could demonstrate its length. Let's have a look. towards the end. My head is underneath the halfway tie-out point. So if you're on your own, that's how much room you've got. Makes a massive shelter. Oh, I'm getting too old for all this crawling about on the floor. So yes, that is the Jürgen setup, or modified plough point, but we're Jürgen today. I think that'll do for the video. I'll just take a couple of pictures of the outside and stick them on the end. Thanks for watching guys.